Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Sims 3 speed build. This house is called Hollybank. As far as I'm aware, it is a gorgeous home. I believe it is only one story. I wanted to try and do something a little bit different. Like, it's still a, like a pretty good sized home. It's not like a tiny little starter home. It is a nice bungalow and I'm very, very happy with how it looks. So you'll obviously, you know, see as it goes along. But right as I was setting up to do the voiceover, moving my microphone and you know, I have one of those microphones that is on an arm, microphone arm, that you kind of, it's like a clamp on the desk. And I was moving it and my finger got caught in like the microphone, oh, in the arm and everything. It was just, I don't even know what happened. It just was really sore basically. But uh, yeah, that was great. Anyway, yes, this house is gorgeous. It is, like I said, a bungalow. I believe I saw a picture on Pinterest of a two-story version of this. But I was like, you know what? I really like the roofing. I think it's cool how it looks and whatever. So let me make this but a bungalow because I never do bungalows. I think I've made one like once or twice. Never do it. Never think about doing it because I feel like I just don't have a whole lot of like space and like surface area to work with. Whereas usually with two-story houses, there's more space to work with. But it's a gorgeous home and I'm very happy with how it has turned out. Like, that's it. Normally, I find two-story houses look much better than one, like, than bungalows, but I like this. I think it looks nice, and I hope you're happy with it, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. But anyway, what has been going on? On Sunday, I got an eye test, because I don't know if I mentioned it in the voiceover or anything, I really can't remember, but, like, my vision is good, like, it's fine. I think I was, like, short, short something vision short term I don't know whatever but basically I can't really see things overly far away like writing and stuff is just like blurred and not totally clear so I was like you know what I need to get an eye test it's just school is so difficult when I'm moving seats constantly to the front of the room to see what's written on a board and just other things like that but that's just an example and did a bunch of things, a bunch of, oh, read these letters, which is clearer, A or B or one or two or whatever. And um, that was grand. And then I have to get glasses, not like all the time, like daily, you know, I'm wearing them all the time, just for like looking at the, you know, things that are far away, um, computer screens, obviously as well, I'm at a computer screen like every single day. So that, you know, that obviously does not help my vision a whole lot. But yeah, that is great anyway. I'm glad though I got it done and like over and done with because I was very nervous about it. Going into the appointment, I was very nervous, but it's done. I, you know, I'm sorted now, which is perfect. But like my whole family, they've got glasses or they've had glasses. So it, you know what I mean? It was kind of inevitable that I was going to need glasses at some point. Can't really avoid that. But I, you know, seem to have dodged it quite a while at this point, but um, no, it's fine. It's good. I'm just seeing here on the house where I did the green, what are you called, siding? I don't know what you call it at the front, but like I did the left, you know, the left framed bit, oh, it's covered now with the stone, but the left trim or whatever, that whole wall piece was a different color to the other one. And my game was telling me that it was the same or like, I would drag the colour from one that looked more what I wanted over onto that and it just did not want to work for some reason. I don't know why that was, but that's very annoying. But it's the same colour, even though it doesn't even matter now. I've changed it. I put the stone and stuff down. But um, yeah, I don't remember this house at all, actually. I'm kind of thinking about it now and I'm like, I don't remember anything that is in this house. I'm currently in the middle of furnishing another house. And I'm very nearly finished it now, actually. And I'm really happy with it. It's really, really nice. I It's not like autumnal. It's not themed. My previous house was um, kind of, you know, it was called an autumnal abode. And it was very much autumnal. Whereas this one is very much just a regular old plain boring house. But I'm very happy with it. And I really like how it turned out. So I hope you do too. Of course, as usual, the link will be in the description below on Mediafire. And I just want to say like, thank you so much for all the love on like, you know, subscribing to my channel, watching my videos, commenting on them. 
um, downloading my houses, all things like that. It is genuinely insane. Even on my recent tweet for Autumnal Abode, that house, oh my god. It seems to, like everybody seems to have seen it now. There's like so many retweets and likes and everything compared to all the other ones on my, you know, profile. So thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. I mention it all the time, but thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, what else was I about to say? I think I was just saying I was in the middle of another house, really liked it, really happy with it. Um, I'm not going to talk about it too much in this voiceover because it's not to do with this house, but I was like trying to put stairs down on a foundation, like to do like a porch and then the stairs wouldn't work and I was really annoyed with that for ages. So you'll see that next week, but it was really annoying. It was so, so annoying but you'll have to wait and see. It's not crazy. It's just like I had to move the whole house and the garden and things like that. But yeah, I'm also trying to be more, be a bit more experimental with my gardens. Right, you, I, oh my God, what am I trying to say? Right now, my gardens are like a mess. Like they, I just stick anything into the garden and hope for the best and just go with it, I guess. So, you know, random tree here, random tree there whatever throughout the whole house like the all around the garden and everything but I want to kind of do more with them and make it a little bit more like I don't know a little bit more decorated I think because normally I use the same plant the same flower the same tree that I want to do something more even if it's not crazy it doesn't have to be crazy but you know what I mean make it a little bit different and like say for the terrain paint I use the same one all the time I want to mix it up I want to use different ones but as you can see here I'm doing like a nice little path around the back of the garden I don't do a garden I don't decorate a garden or anything like that I just was like I really want to do something different you know more plants around the place but yeah I'm very happy with it but I love the color of the house as well the color is gorgeous it's so green and even the stone is very kind of grey, browny, green and I really like it. I think it looks very, very nice. And yeah. Oh my goodness. Recently, the weather has been awful. I mean awful. Like, it is freezing cold right now. Is it raining? I don't think it's raining. It wouldn't surprise me because it is, the weather is terrible. But it could be so sunny. Like yesterday, I think yesterday was sunny, but freezing. Me and my ma like my mother, we went to the shops and obviously the ear tests and or eye ear test? Eye test. And it was like, the weather was fine, but the temperature, it was like three degrees. We got into the car like first when we were first leaving and it was like five degrees, 4.5, four. It just ticked down slowly in like five minutes. It went down like two degrees and we were like, oh my God. It is so cold. I had like a scarf and gloves and a coat and it was just terrible. And then today, I don't know what the temp like what temperature is or anything like that, but it is freezing. I've got my duvet, like literally taken my duvet off my bed. I'm sat at my desk doing a voiceover. Nice and cozy, of course. Like it's just the best way to be, but I need it. Like it is like so cold. Like, my hands, my hands are freezing. It's terrible. But I suppose it's getting towards winter, literally. Where has this year gone? Oh my god, it is October. It's halfway through October. Like, are you kidding me? It is actually insane. And I don't know where the time has gone. I literally don't know where the time has gone. But in not next week, the week after. So when you're seeing this, like hearing this voiceover, it will be Saturday the... What Saturday will it be? 21st? I think that sounds right. I'm sure it's the 21st. But on that day, you're, you're obviously seeing the voiceover and the video and everything like that. But then that next week, the week after that, I'm in school. And then the week after that, no school. Halloween holidays. And I'm so happy. I might do a little bit of streaming because as you know, I have like um, the live, not live chat. What is it? like the membership where you can get emojis and whatever, emotes, whatever. But um, they can now be used in live chat. I don't think there's a way to do it where you can set some emojis for kind of just for free that anybody can use them. 
I'll have to look into that, but I really want that to be a thing. Just like kind of like a hello emoji and things like that that you can use just anyway. But I'm sure that's not because I know Twitch has it. So that's annoying, but I'll have a look and I'll see what happens. But streaming could be a possibility. I don't know about a series. I probably will not do a series in a very long time. I need to do more of my pets one, which I do plan on doing it. There's no set time for it or when it needs to be done or whatever. I do want to get back into it for sure because I had so much fun with it and I've obviously not finished exploring the pack and, you know, completing skills and everything like that. So I definitely want to go and give it a go. It's just so difficult because I would record for like an hour and obviously I'm talking the whole hour. Whereas doing voiceover, I'm only talking for 15, 20 minutes and then it's done. Whereas the like actual recording, I'm doing it for like an hour straight and then I kind of cut it down and everything. It's a bit more difficult, but I will see what happens and I'll see how it goes. Um, and yeah, but no plans are set in stone. There will obviously be videos throughout the week, not throughout the week, on like Saturday and everything like that. Um, but that would be nice. Also, what day is Halloween on? I actually don't know that. I'm thinking about it now. Is it a Saturday? If it's, if Halloween is a Saturday, I might try and do like another Halloween-y build or even a live stream or something. I'm not, de- I'm not decorating. I'm not dressing up this year. If you're dressing up, let me know who you are or what you are or anything like that. And also, are you going trick-or-treating, doing anything nice? We were actually talking about it today in school and we were like just, you know, group of friends having a conversation. We were like, I was saying how I would love to go trick-or-treating. We obviously have riveting conversations, but I would love to go trick-or-treating. Like, I'm, there's nobody near our house who we could go trick-or-treating to. As in, like, there's like four houses on my road, so I can't really just turn up and, you know, they're not, obviously not going to have sweets or anything because they're not expecting trick-or-treaters. But I wish I lived in, like, more of a busy town where I'd either get trick-or-treaters and I could like pass candy out. Candy, oh my god, I'm like so American. I actually, thinking about that too, I was watching Diary of a Wimpy Kid, the first one with my family, and in it, like they, you know, obviously dress up for Halloween, they're gone trick-or-treating. Like, oh my god, I would love to go trick-or-treating. I'd love to have Halloween in America and just see what it's like and, you know, just really experience it because from what I see, they're, you know what I mean, they dress up, they decorate, they go all out. But here in Ireland, they do absolutely none of that. Like, they wouldn't care if Halloween just was not a thing. Which is really weird because Halloween, like, started, it originated in Ireland. So, you know, that's great. But, ah, I don't know. Or like, you know, like Salem, I'd love to go there at Halloween and just see it in autumn. Like, seeing like Hocus Pocus oh my god, it makes me want to go to America to experience Halloween in America so bad. Oh, it does look so nice and like autumnal, but like, I don't know, it'd be so cool. But anyway, I did, was I, I was in the middle of about 10 sentences when I thought of something else to say and started talking about that instead. I don't even know what I was saying. But anyway, I went custom content shopping yesterday I think or on Saturday because I whenever I build I use the exact same sofas and couches and as nice as they are it's a bit of a pain because like I'm using the same ones in every house same with like counters and islands I really need to get new ones like try and download some because again I use the same ones at every single house they're gorgeous like these ones that I'm you know putting in the bathroom and everything gorgeous the pets ones amazing late night like it's stunning they're gorgeous they're amazing but like I use them all the time and I want to use more base game ones and kind of try out different things but I don't always pets is typically what I go for it's my favorite and I think that it's amazing but I don't know it's just it's just annoying because like I want to when I upload a house to like anywhere I want you to be able to download it and have the items in the house whereas not everyone's going to have the pets expansion pack. So I can't kind of only use pets if not everybody has that expansion pack. So I'm trying to, you know, think about it and think like, okay, what packs do people have? And 
stuff. Or not even what packs do people have, but trying to think about more base game stuff and custom content I'm kind of okay with. I'm kind of okay with using that. Obviously, again, not everyone wants to download custom content, but you're more likely to do that than buy a bunch of packs, I think. Because obviously, you know, it costs money and things like that. But, um, you know, it's obviously berries per person. But um, yeah, I've got some more custom content, more couches in particular to use, some beds too, because I hate furnishing bedrooms because it just, I hate it. It's so boring. I have no interest in it at all. I do it when I feel like I need to, whereas quite often I do not do it because I just simply do not care about it. But um, yeah, I want to try and do that more. So I got some bedroom things and everything like that. So yeah, I'll see. I'll see what happens, see what I can do. But um, I have loads of pictures on Pinterest saved of houses I want to build. So I'm trying to use my time wisely and just lash all them out you know, build a bunch of houses. Eventually, yes, I'll get burnt out, but at the minute I enjoy it and um, hopefully that lasts a little while while I can, you know, build a bunch of houses. But yeah, really good. Also, yeah, I did mention like thank you and everything for all the support and subscribing as usual. I always mention it, but like I was saying, autumnal abode, oh my god, the views have been insane. I just wanted to mention it one more time just so you really know, just so I, you know, you really hear what I'm saying. Like, I really appreciate it. And it's insane. It makes me so happy. Obviously, yes, it makes me happy, the high views. But it just, even anybody seeing it makes me happy. So thank you very much. We're actually coming to the end of the voiceover. Enjoy the screenshots. I will see you all next week. But download the house, follow my socials. And yeah, that's kind of it. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. And I will see you all in my next voiceover. So, goodbye.